Welcome back to Abandoned PKB. Today we're looking at the Bankshot Pub. The pub closed in December 2017, and it's scheduled to be demolished in early 2018. The building was built in the late 1800s as a jewelry store and continued on as a jewelry store until the current owner, Jody Haven, converted it into a pub. Although most of the original cabinets and fixtures are still intact. And as you can see, there's a sale right now of a lot of memorabilia and merchandise. Uh, quite a bit still inside, though, that we'll check out. And there's the newspaper article about the pub closing. And that's Joe there at the bottom. Thanks, Joe, for letting us film here today. The building is listed on the National Register, and that door goes to the upstairs offices. Uh, however, due to a roof leak, I wasn't able to get to the upper floors, but I was able to do a complete walkthrough of the downstairs of the building. So let's go ahead and go in and check that out right now. All right, here we are inside the building. As you can see on the left side here, and on the right side, we have these display cases. These are original to the building when it was built in 1898 as a jewelry store. And over the years, memorabilia has been added to it. Part of the liquidation process here has been to sell some of these items off and they are currently for sale. As you saw on the for sale signs on the front of the building. As you can see here, this is the vault that is original to the building as well with the bar area that has been added here right in front of the jewelry display cases on the other side here you've got all of these display cases displaying um, various items down here you've got some uh, Looks like beer, memorabilia, some older cans. We'll zoom in on that in just a second. But I want to show you this. This has been added to over the years. All the bar patrons. And as you see right there, Joe DeHaven, owner. He's one of the fellows that I have um, to thank for letting me in today to be able to document this. And they are in the process of clearing out this building. So as we walk around here, you're going to see um, quite a bit of stuff laying around just as we're in the process of getting it closed. All right. And as we head back this way, you're going to see some of those collectibles in the process of being boxed up. All of these have some what of a special significance to Parkersburg. And one way or another, and been collected over time here. Uh, those are from the Taste of Parker's Park, which is an event that's put on down at the Blair Has It.
Jackson Junior High, now is now known as Jackson Middle School. And as we get further back in the building here, it is a little dark. There are no lights in the back of the building. Here's the old jukebox. There's an old police lodge. It looks like a t-shirt or poster there on the wall. And as we go a little bit further back here, really? As we get a little bit further back here, um, you can see by the light right here that there was a pool table directly below us. And I apologize for the lighting again, but um, there are no more lights in this back section of the building. And just again here to the bar. This is. Uh, well, that was just somebody's random. <laughs> Looks. Uh, I don't know how that got here. That was a uh, medical license. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. Oh, you can see part of the original wood floors there. Okay. We're back here by the display cases again. Um, back. Oh, okay. All right. So we're back behind the actual bar right now and now that you get a little more light you can see the original hardwood floors are here and while we've got some good lighting let's look up because this building has the original ceiling from 1898 Press 10, and this is the only one that you can find like this in Parkersburg. see it right there but above the front door that is an older uh, bank shot sign I just wanted to do a quick video segment on the back of the building um, of course we know that the fate of this building is that West Bank goes to tearing it down uh, but it seems to already pretty much West Banco seems to already have its uh, death grip around the building as they've got this built onto the back of it with their sign. But this is the very back of the building uh, the bank shot is in.